Hey there, car enthusiasts. Get ready to be electrified by the incredible story of the early electric cars from 1880 to 1920. From the genius inventors to the record-breaking speedsters, this journey will leave you charged up with knowledge. It all started with Thomas Edison, the man who brought light to the world. But did you know he also posed with his first electric car, the Edison Baker, back in 1895? That's right, Edison was not only a master of electricity but also a pioneer in electric vehicles. But before we dive into the fascinating world of electric cars, let's talk about the invention that made it all possible, the rechargeable battery. In 1859, French physicist Gaston Planté created the lead-acid battery, providing a viable means for storing electricity on board a vehicle. Fast forward to April 1881, when French inventor Gustave Trouvet tested what is likely the first human-carrying electric vehicle with its own power source. He took his creation for a spin along a Paris street, leaving everyone in awe of this groundbreaking invention. Trouvet wasn't the only one pushing the boundaries of electric vehicles. In 1880, English inventor Thomas Parker built the first production electric car in Wolverhampton. Although the only documentation we have is a photograph from 1895, Parker's contribution to the electric car revolution cannot be overlooked. France and the United Kingdom were at the forefront of supporting the widespread development of electric vehicles. In 1888, German engineer Andreas Flocken built the first real electric car, adding to the growing momentum of this electrifying transportation revolution. But electric cars weren't just limited to the streets. Electric trains were also used to transport coal out of mines, thanks to their motors that didn't use up precious oxygen. And before internal combustion engines took over, electric automobiles held numerous speed and distance records. One of the most notable records was set on April 29, 1899, by Camille Genetzi in his rocket-shaped vehicle called Jamey Contente. Genetzi broke the 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour, speed barrier, reaching a top speed of 105.88 km per hour, 65.79 miles per hour. Talk about a shocking achievement. Another remarkable electric car pioneer was Ferdinand Porsche, who designed and constructed an all-wheel drive electric car with a motor in each hub. This groundbreaking vehicle, owned by E.W. Hart, set several records and showcased the immense potential of electric cars. Now, let's shift our focus to the United States. In 1890-91, William Morrison of Des Moines, Iowa, developed the first electric car in the country. This six-passenger wagon could reach a speed of 23 kilometers per hour, 14 miles per hour, marking a significant milestone in American automotive history. While the United States was a bit late to the electric car party, consumers started paying attention in 1895 when A.L. Riker introduced the first electric tricycles to the country. By this time, Europeans had already been enjoying electric tricycles, bicycles, and cars for nearly 15 years. The late 1890s and early 1900s marked the golden age of electric cars. Electric battery-powered taxis became a common sight on the streets of London, thanks to Walter Bercy's fleet of hummingbirds. These cabs were known for their idiosyncratic humming noise, capturing the attention of passers-by. Across the pond in New York City, Samuel's Electric Carriage and Wagon Company introduced 12 electric hansom cabs in 1897. These sleek and silent vehicles quickly gained popularity, leading to the formation of the Electric Vehicle Company. Electric cars had numerous advantages over their gasoline counterparts. They were vibration-free, odorless, and noiseless, providing a smooth and serene driving experience. Plus, they didn't require gear changes or manual effort to start the engine. Electric cars found a special place among well-heeled customers who used them as city cars. Their limited range was less of a disadvantage in urban environments, and they were even marketed as suitable vehicles for women drivers. Early electric cars were often stigmatized as women's cars, but their ease of operation won over many drivers. The acceptance of electric cars faced initial challenges due to a lack of power infrastructure. However, by 1912, many homes in the United States were wired for electricity, 
leading to a surge in the popularity of electric cars. By the turn of the century, electric cars accounted for 38% of automobiles in the United States, surpassing steam-powered vehicles. The country became a hub for electric car acceptance, with a total of 33,842 electric cars registered. The electric revolution was in full swing. To overcome the limited operating range and lack of recharging infrastructure, an exchangeable battery service was proposed in 1896. The concept was put into practice by the Hartford Electric Light Company, allowing electric trucks to have their batteries exchanged quickly and efficiently. The battery exchange service gained traction and covered over 6 million miles between 1910 and 1924. Chicago also implemented a successful battery exchange service for owners of Milburn Wagon Company cars. These innovative solutions paved the way for electric cars to thrive. As we wrap up this electrifying journey through the early years of electric cars, let's take a moment to appreciate the pioneers and visionaries who shaped the future of transportation. From Thomas Edison to Gustave Trouvé, their contributions laid the foundation for the electric vehicles we see today. So, buckle up and get ready to be amazed by the shocking evolution of electric cars. This is a story that will leave you charged with excitement and a newfound appreciation for the pioneers who dared to dream of a greener and more sustainable future. Thank you for joining us on this electrifying adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more captivating stories from the world of automobiles. Until next time, keep the electric revolution alive.